So now we're going to talk about some applications of capacitors. Um, you will see circuit boards. Whether you like it or not, as a physicist, you are going to end up seeing and having to make some sense out of circuits. Um, I say this, I have run into circuit boards, I mean, almost any lab experience you're going to have to, if not, you're not going to be designing circuits, but you're going to be using circuits. You use them all the time in these experiments in high energy where you have readout electronics and you have uncovered boards and sometimes you end up having to fix them. You can see on, on these um, on circuit boards the, um, the circuit elements the capacitors are labeled with C, so you can see the capacitors here. Um, by the way, these are a real pain if you actually have to work with them. They're tiny, uh, see, I mislabeled one. They're tiny, they're hard to work with, they're very easy to accidentally melt if you have to solder. They're usually soldered automatically, but sometimes if you gotta fix stuff, you, you gotta dig in there and get it. Um, the fibrillators, so they basically, this, uh, so we talked about the squid giant axon and you know, neuron um, the signals are electronic. They are, um, they're electrical signals. So when your heart stops, you actually give it a shock to get it started again. You're actually starting the neurons in the heart telling it to beat. And um, these, the fibrillators are fantastic devices. Now they actually basically have dummy proof instruct instructions on them so that if you're in a panic you know exactly what you have to do um, sometimes they even talk to you and tell you what to do they're fantastic um, and they have a big capacitor that holds the charge right before you um, before you give someone a shock um, stud finders we just used one of these the other day when um, when we had to install shelves in our house so um, in the United States you, houses are mostly built out of wood and there are studs um, or big wooden um, boards holding the walls up and uh, the drywall um, covers the studs um, and what you see looks like it is a simple flat um, wall but you need to know where the studs are because if you have to hang something, in, in my case we were actually hanging some big shelves for uh, for our pantry on the wall and you want to find the studs what it does is it looks um, it uses it looks for metal by looking for changes in the conductivity it looks for the metal in the wall from the nails and then you know where you have a stud it's beautiful it doesn't necessarily work in all types of construction because in um, for instance in a lot of commercial building there buildings they're actually um, made out of cinder blocks with iron rebar in them um, so you don't need to worry too much about finding a stud and in um, in Europe most of the construction is different it's not wood covered in drywall so it doesn't work everywhere but in the United States we have these lovely stud finders 